When you add a material to a side of a static mesh, the entire object is painted with the same material. But how can I apply the material to just a particular section of my mesh? In this video, I'll explain how to do it for the new modeling tool presented in Unreal 5. But before that, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment on my channel. Don't forget to join our mailing list on Wulun.com to get coupons for our video game related courses. My next course is about mastering level design. And if you're subscribed to Wulun.com, you will receive a discount code on release week. I am also creating a Kickstarter campaign so you can support me in hiring an editor and finishing this course by the beginning of 2024. With your small contribution, I will be able to create more free content and courses to build your knowledge in making video games. Okay, to present this example, I am going to add a model which is going to be a simple box. So let's add a box here. Fantastic, and I'm going to accept. So the original problem is that if I try to add a material to this box, the entire material will cover all the box. Let me present it to you. So let's say that I take one material from here and I add it to the box and it's covering all the sides or the entire mesh. So I don't want this. I want to control where, uh, where the material is going to be per side of this mesh. What I'm going to do is select the mesh and in attributes, you can see in inspect, you can see the, uh, the structure of this mesh, how this will be uh, rendered. And as you can see, there are sections of triangles. And what I want now is to select certain sections of this mesh to paint it. So one option that I have is, let me complete here, in the same attributes, I can say generate polygroups. And when we generate polygroups for a mesh like this one, you will have a different color for every side of this mesh, as you can see here. So the first thing is accept this. And now I have two options. I can go to the edit materials, select one section that I want to paint. Let's say that I want to paint this, just this face. And I'm going to add one extra material here. And let's select, I don't know, something like this. Fantastic. And I have these sections selected. Right now I have all in group, but I can select the brush just to say, I want exactly these sides to be or this section to be painted. So as you can see here in the materials, I added an extra material. And in the active material, I can select that extra material that I just selected and then go to the assigned active material. So right now, I just have assigned one section of this entire static mesh. That's really great. But what about if I can paint different sections of this entire mesh at the same time. In this case, we're going to paint polygroups. And the first thing is I am going to select what are the sides or the part of this mesh that are going to be painted the same way. So I'm going to click and select different sections. Let's say I want to select all these three sides, not this one, not the top, not the bottom. Now I will accept. And in the edit materials, instead of taking the selection mode of brush, I am going to select all in group. What does that mean? That mean is that when I select one element of this group, I will select all the elements of this group. And now I can say, all right, let me add a new material. Let's say that in this group, I'm going to use this moss. And then in the materials, we'll select the moss and assign to the active material. Now you can see that the moss is only on these sections. If I want to complete the top, let's say for another material, I can select the top. And let's say I want to add one new material, something like this. Then I will go select the cobble. The material is selected on the top and then I can assign material. So as you can see here, we have two materials represented in different parts of this static mesh. Now, I'm going to make a quick change to this material, to this moss material. So I'm going to the edit materials, 
I'm going to select the section related to the moss. And let me take another material like, it could be this. I'm going to add this material to this section. And now with one, assign material and accept it. So as you can see, you could have uh, different kinds of materials for uh, for a, a particular uh, mesh. Now, let's say that this side is not in the right scale. It could be the other, but this side is not on the right scale. Well, if I want to change the scale of this side, I can go to UVs, and in UVs, select Transform UV. I pick the size where I want to make the adjustments of size, and you know, I can transform it. And as you can see, I can transform one without affecting the other sides. They are totally independent. In fact, I can also rotate it. And when I accept, as you can see, they are totally independent one side from another. Now, to change the size of the materials of all sides of these static mesh at the same time, I will select the mesh and I will go to Layout UVs. There is a parameter which is called the scale. And the scale originally can be a one as a value. And as you can see here, it looks like you are very close to the material. And as you get higher values, the material will look like smaller, smaller, and smaller. And this will apply to all sides, all sides of this static mesh. I will accept. And here we have the transformation of the material for all sides of the mesh. So the combination between uh, playing with materials on one side or in the entire mesh is up to you. But now you have the tools to make the changes that you need. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. Remember that by subscribing to Woolen.com, you will have access to exclusive discounts on our courses and first look at my content. If you wish to support me and the expansion of my team, you can visit my Patreon page. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you later. Cheers.